Hey guys, so we had a little issue last night while we were having a backflow on our gray water tank in our shower. For some odd reason, our line was completely open and supposed to be draining into the city line. Um, we got that fixed. Uh, it was a little bit of a clog. Say hi, Bradley. <laughs> Anyhow, in the middle of Solving that problem, we had lifted our uh, basement lid, and right above that is our electrical outlet, and we hit that, okay, I did, and it knocked out the power. Well, my daughter's um, surge protector started smoking, really scary, unplugged it, got rid of it, and although everything else in the house, all the plug-ins um, worked, none of our lights would come on. So we spent last night basically in the dark um, and decided since Lowe's and Home Depot and other places are closed at night that we would first assess the breakers. We went to the breaker box. One of the, our 20 amp breakers did a uh, trip. Tried to pop it back up. It re-tripped, popped it back up, re-tripped, finally got it to hold. Check the breakers outside at the post where we plug into the resort's power. Those were fine. We turned them all off, turned them back on, turned them off, turned them on, did the same thing inside. Um, came inside and checked our converter fuses. Those were all okay. Um, we went today to Harbor Freight. We bought one of these. Uh, to test our power. The fuses were fine. Um, I did not purchase <laughs> the right size uh, or width of a fuse, the 20 amp fuse. Uh, so we just went ahead and put the old one back in. Um, I used the voltmeter uh, to test it. Despite the instructions and other YouTube videos, they can they will show you how to use this. They will not tell you whether the electricity needs to be off or on. They said to make sure that your breaker is off. Um, so I had thrown the 50 amp breaker, which is all the power to the RV. Yeah, you don't get any kind of current. Can't test for any kind of voltage that way. Um, turned it back on. Stuck these probes where they belong and saw that we had plenty of power going to the plugins. So we were good there. I was kind of hoping that it was going to have to be a plug-in replacement, if anything, but it was not. Um, we troubleshot. I went, purchased new little fuses, um, replaced all the 15, 30s. Those were all good. Needed, went ahead, just did it anyhow, since I already purchased them. Um, still not working with the lights. So we decided since our, um, converter we weren't sure how old it was uh, we never really saw it come on or hear it come on we decided to purchase a new one I was kind of excited because Harbor Freight had inverters which are not the same as converters lesson learned um, so we went to Camping World in Biloxi and found the converter joined Good Sam's in order to get their online price match um, the one that we purchased, it is a WF9800 series duck mount converter charger. Um, online 168 and some change. In the store it was 230 something dollars and some change. They said as a good SAM member, they will price match. So $29, we became one year uh, members of the good SAM club. Got home. Uh, let me flip this around and show y'all. This is the new converter. Got home, plugged it all in. Uh, typically, the black line, from my experience with the electrical in this RV, has been the positive, and the white line has been the negative. Well, plugged it in that way, and come to find out, it is actually backwards on this. Good thing to always check your settings here if you can see the negative and the white line and reversed it completed it we have lights all the lights work except the bathroom we're like what in the world 
So <laughs> come to find out, two blown bulbs. So we will have those replaced. Uh, we may convert it over to LEDs, not sure. But needless to say, after much headache, not finding much online for all the lights going out, um, check your converters, check your fuses, and you should be good to go. See y'all next time. Bye.